Okay. Today I am going to be making some taco soup. Um, it's really, really simple, easy. Um, it's gonna have, um, I use one can of hominies, and this gives it like a tortilla-like taste. But, you know, the hominies are really, they're not, like, soft. So I do try to cook them a little separately with I, I drain them and I cook them a little separately here to try to soften them up a little bit and that's what they've been doing I'm gonna also add a um, two cans of corn and two cans of diced tomato Two pounds of ground beef. Um, this one pound has been already seasoned with uh, taco season. I just emptied half of the bag of taco season into the ground meat and kneaded it and gave mix it up real good. And the other pound, I'm just going to um, throw that pound into the water because it's a uh, it's a uh, a, a, a much more leaner uh, ground beef than this one is. This one's 70, 30, I think. And the other one's like 85% lean. So this is, this I am going to fry this off first a little bit. And so right here in my big pot, I'm going to just put the whole two cans of tomato in there. And one can of corn. I'm sorry, two cans of corn. I'm not even draining this. I'm gonna leave all of that in there with the hominies. The hominies are gonna go in there too. The next step is one pack of taco seasoning. First, if I was you, I would put one pack of taco seasoning into the soup and then give it a taste, see if you like it. Um, to this, I'm going to also be adding bell pepper onion and jalapeno to, to and cuz I like mine spicy so um that's going to go on the heat start boiling up it's real quick cuz everything pretty much came out of a can all you got to do is fry up some ground beef and put up in there too the only the only thing that you don't want to put into this soup is beans because that would mean it's chili and this is a taco soup put, I'll just put four cups of water in there I want you to see how that looks see that but that's not even really soupy enough. You know, I might put maybe two more cups of, of water. You can use chicken stock, beef stock, whatever. So put that on the fire.
and I'll come back and um, show you the finished product. I would not believe this, but I had a pack of ground beef that I had took out of the fridge, the refrigerator, and it was really bad. It had went bad or something. I think I purchased it bad like that from the store. You now you go in the store and you have um, you have your you go and you, you just grab one, some item like the first one off the shelf. That, that's probably the item that's been uh, sitting in the basket waiting to be returned. And I think that's what happened to that one pack of ground beef that I bought. Uh, somebody got up to the cash register and just changed their mind. Shoot, they could have even put that ground meat on a shelf somewhere and was like oh oh well you know and then here goes somebody uh from the store uh returning the ground meat and i picked it up because it had such a really bad smell it smelled uh, it smelled like eggs and i had compared it to the other one which was actually still red and it didn't have hardly a smell at all. Um, meat should not have a pungent, especially ground meat. It should not have a, an eggy, an eggy smell to it. And I could also tell by the meat being uh, white. It was, it was really white and not red like the other, um, the other pack. So I discarded that one. So that was like two, two, I think. It's almost three dollars down the drain right there. It's okay. I had a, I had another pack. Um, so I just used that. Um, ground meat is, is frying up. I usually separate the ground meat after I season it, but because this is going into water, it really doesn't matter that much. Like literally going into a pot full of water. Where it is, that's why I put the seasoning in the ground meat and in the water for the soup. I also forgot to tell you I'm going to be putting cilantro in this soup as well. So I've already put a bet one bell pepper and um, I think I might put two two bell peppers or half half a bell pepper. I'm gonna leave the seeds on it and everything, just like that. Shoot. Even though I didn't separate the ground beef, I haven't really been fooling around with it to chop it up that much. I mean, it's gonna break up, but I like those big chunks. Um, 
down here. I think that's gonna be great. It ain't meatballs, but it's it's um it's not a meat sauce either. So now that the ground meat is browning up nicely. I'm going to finish some other uh, prep work and, and show you the next step. Okay. <clears throat> this is the ground beef. You can see not all of it is browned. These are the 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 red parts are the the lean ground beef. And I kind of don't have stock, so I want the, the fat to come out of that into the liquid. But I did brown up that other ground meat really well. So I'm going to add this meat to the pot. Working with the pyramid tonight. Okay. cilantro you're too much too too much you know what that's when things start tasting like soap that is all I'm gonna do I'm not gonna double cross double cut it I'm gonna take like that and you can see it it's gonna be floating in there and you bite into a little bit of cilantro and you bite into a juicy piece of ground beef and a plump diced tomato that's then soaked up all of these good taco flavors and <clears throat> kind of want to show it to you See that? Oh, that's a taco soup. Now, you might. Wait. What's I gonna say? Shoot. You might think, hey, that's kinda that's kinda chunky. You know what? I'm gonna add two more cups of water. And you know the more water you have, you're gonna be thinning out that one pack of taco seasoning. So them them two cups of water, I'm gonna mm -hmm. add another pack of taco seasoning to it. Okay, that was more like, yeah, okay. Another pack of taco seasoning. You can get taco seasoning, three for a dollar, really cheap. You don't need the, uh, the expensive kind. I'm gonna actually put half of that. 
I haven't even added any salt yet to this because don't forget that corn had salt in the, the corn brine had salt the taco season has salt in it and once you get to this stage this is the time where you want to start tasting it and add in salt maybe some black pepper Stir it up too. It's looking good. Mm. Yeah, I use that. Um, I'm gonna put a, a whole thing of taco seasoning. I'm going to heat it up with a little salt. It's plain salt. Not too much salt. Um, this is Uncle... This is some good steak seasoning. Give me... Give me that beef flavor and hence the beef flavor and some black pepper. Lots of black pepper. If I'm still not satisfied with the taco flavor, I can easily add another pack because it's three for a dollar and I got a bunch of them. Get a little stir. Wow, it looks so good. And you can see those big pieces of parts. I mean, cilantro in there, the tomatoes, the corn, the hominems. But you, you know what else you can do? Take you some tortillas and just um. You can take some tortilla chips, put those in a bowl, and pour this hot soup over the tortillas. And that's a whole another thing right there you're talking about good. But I'm going to, I forgot to make the rice. I always forget to make rice. I need to make a pot of rice for this soup. But you know what? While that pot of rice is um, cooking up, this just gonna keep getting better and better. I'm gonna let this simmer. It's looking so good, it's smelling good, looking good. That's how I get down with taco soup. Right out of a can. So, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put this rice on and I'm gonna come back and show you the finishing steps. Okay. It's all done. There you go. Nice bowl of taco soup. You can see tomatoes and everything up in there. Uh, you can feed a lot of people with that. It's really, really good. You really got that taco flavor in there. And, um, Mm. Yeah, that's how I get down with the taco soup, yo. So, try to make it yourself. You can change it however you want. Mm. 
Let's hog it down with the taco soup. And thanks for watching.